I would like to add is if you want to send from Gmail, if you want to use your Gmail account to send the emails, you have to create an app password for that. You cannot use your normal Gmail password. So there's a there's a way to do that. You can go to the your account, your Gmail account, and let me show you how it, you can go to the Gmail account and then you have to go to the security. Uh, once you come to the security, you have to find app password. If you cannot find app password here, first of all, enable two step verification. You have to enable two step verification. Mine is already enabled. Uh, let me show you how. Uh, wait a minute. Mine is already enabled. Uh, turn off to step verification. I don't want to turn off. So once you turn it on, you will see the app password below. But if you don't see, what you can do, you can just search in the search Google account app app password here we go so you can click it app passwords and you will be redirected to this page and then you can choose the app name i can say kkk blah 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 whatever and then once you click create it will create the app password for you copy this thing it is one time copy this thing done go to the this thing this was i already created um then you can do one thing which is copy it here but remove the spaces between them remove the spaces and then copy this thing and then go to the software and then paste it here make sure you remove the spaces because otherwise it will not work and then you can write your you know whatever gmail.com and then your password and then smdb and then it will work as normal yeah so that that's the thing I, I want to add that's for only for gmail but if you are using your own domain provider let's say smtb uh, my domain name is furkan.com so if i'm using furkan's so i will be smtb.furkan.com for that i don't need to create a password i can just use my gmail my my email provider password one let me show you how this is how does this project work so basically this is a bulk email sender and the way it works is you upload the Excel file full of the contact, the email list, such as, let me show you the, down, the sample. So if you click this sample, you'll be able to download this thing. For example, it has like a con this email and then the list of emails. So you can fill up the list of email all to whatever, 5,000, 10,000. And then once you have this list, let me download this first. Save as. the heck why do I have to download the copy let's say download a copy okay I downloaded the copy and now I go I go here and I upload the file I got this file I uploaded so the file got uploaded and now I have to enter like you have to set up the SMTP host if you're sending the emails from the Gmail your SMTP host will be always like this, smtp.gmail.com and the port will be 465. But if you are sending from your own domain, which is like, you know, xyz.forkan, let's, let's say my name is forkan, so forkan.com, or you have your own name, product name, like uh, godaddy.com, blah, blah, blah. So you have to find their SMTP host. You can search it on Google and you will find their SMTP host. Usually it's, it's, it's like SMTP dot godaddy.com uh, go something like that the domain the do, domain name comes in the middle uh, but you can google it for example i use titan so i use the titan email so i could find by google searching on google i found it titan dot oh sorry smtp dot titan dot email so this is how it will always start with smtp and then it will in the middle there will be domain name and then the it will end with dot email and you have to make sure that you are copying the for the port will be always 465 yeah so let's go back um enter user so for example i want to use my my gmail account and this is my password that i have already written i can write hello and then hello this is test make it go whatever and then you have file uploaded and then you click send email and the email is sent Okay, email sent successfully. Two emails were sent from index one to hundred. So it started from index number one till uh, I mean, you know, there were only two 
two emails i guess and that's why it's like only sent two emails so it takes some time the list is too huge it sends in transactional manner and it takes a little bit time so you gotta wait maybe two minutes or five minutes if the list is like thousands something uh, on the gmail you every day you get 100 emails you can send up to 100 emails per day in gmail but if you are using your own domain and you have uh excess amount of quota let's say you if you're using your own domain like uh, uh starplus.com so starplus may have like uh, you might have like 10,000 email quota per day so you can send 10,000 emails so you have to check with your domain provider that how many emails quota you have uh that's how it works um yeah the, so if if I hope that helps. And if 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 you are, let's say if you send from two, you have you have a list of thousand emails, and you send from one to hundred, and next day you wanna continue continue from hundred, you can do it hundred, and then you can say two hundred. So let's say from hundred to two hundred, it will send the emails. All right, yeah, that's it.